Hello traders, Des here with Grok Trade. It's Thursday, June 2nd, 2011 in the markets. In mix, we have the Dow down 0.34%, the S&P down 0.12%, NASDAQ in positive territory up 0.15%, Russell's down just ever so slightly. Banks led the markets all day long. We did have a slight drop here in the volatility index. Gold and silver down. U.S. dollar down quite a bit, 0.65%. And crude oil up 0.4%. You had transportation index leading the Dow also. So the markets, the underneath breadth was actually quite bullish, even though we did sustain some downward momentum today. And we really vacillated between positive and negative ter territory. First thing out of the gates, we did go positive, and that was expected due to such a big sell-off. But it was short-lived after it hit this very important 100-day moving average that's been acting as support for some time. It broke it yesterday, and today we stayed below it. Now, we do have a hammer formation, which could signify a reversal-type pattern. And we are at a support trend line. We did at one point go below that. And not sure if you can see this line right here. But we went down, touched it, came right back up. Puts this right at 1305, which was today's low on the S&P. We have a lot of upside resistance here with the moving averages. However, I think with the news coming out pre-market tomorrow, which is huge, is the unemployment number. When that rate comes out, um, that if it's if it's within what the analysts are predicting, I could see us rallying here. However, if we miss those estimates to the downside and we crack that support line, especially if we get below 1305, gang, that could be ugly. So it's something I'm watching for because what I'm really paying attention to is to find out investors are going to sell out of all their long positions, the ones that haven't got out, those that hadn't sold already a couple of days ago or yesterday, will they get out on Friday going into the weekend? If so, that could be the start of some ugly things coming into the future. However, if we can maintain buoyancy here and we can start to rally, start to fight some of these moving averages, head back up, we could be ready for another up leg just like we had here. See this up leg? We could start another one to the upside. And so anyway, we still remain lower than the zero line on the histogram. And that is where we're at. Again, tomorrow, it's 8.30 Eastern Standard Time is the big unemployment rate. So keep your eyes on that or get signed up with our Facebook, facebook.com slash grok trade. And I post it. As soon as the announcement comes out, I make sure everybody at face our Facebook page hears about the latest of news. And I think there's 30 spots available for Monday night's free webinar. It's an online class on candlestick reversal patterns. And I highly recommend that you go to the website, click on calendar, get registered for this event on June 6th which is Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you cannot make it, that's okay. Anybody that registers will get a recording. So there you have it. You get the very best of technical analysis here at Grok Trade. Thank you for being a part. We sincerely appreciate that.